Hey guys, Retro Badger here. Today I'm going to put Species 8472 up against the Krenum Time Ship. So the Undyne Ship. The Undyne Ship against the Time Ship. Yeah, it's got a nice ring to it. Okay. Here we go. Alert, shields up. No damage. Is it because they're out of fate? Whoa, he's trying to erase me from history here. That's not very polite, is it? There's one big ship. I almost wonder if he's supposed to be out of phase, perhaps. That's why the weapon's not having any effect. At 75%. All I can do is keep firing and hope for the best. Your orders, Captain. Sending emergency transmission. Wonder he'll turn up. Laugh if it's Neelix's ship. That'd be so funny. Ooh, he gets her raising from history. Oh, no. The ship has been destroyed. Okay. Let's try that again, but we'll make it a bit more fairer for species 8472. Bring some friends along. Okay, so we've got seven bio ships versus the Krenum. Red ship. alert, shields up. Sir, we're going to pick. Will it make a difference if everybody fires on him at the same time? Oh, cool. Gosh. Aha, you can't erase me from history. He's firing on multiple targets at the same time, that's pretty cool. Whoa. Hey, whoa! That got him. How did we do that damage? That's so strange. Let's try and get round there again. That seems like a weak spot, doesn't it? Fire. Can't quite reach it. Nothing. Call integrity at seventy five percent. Try going a bit closer. Mid. Got a 
second. No. Nope. Also, like it how species 8472 seem to change sides there. Strange. Is that what they do? They change sides? The ship has been destroyed. Ending simulation. Okay. What I'm going to do now is do it the other way around again. So I'll be in the time ship versus species 8472. <laughs> Mawazi cruiser. Those ships are terrible. Okay. Red alert, shields up. Ooh. Now last time I had quite a bit of trouble getting this weapon to work. So let's hope we can do rapid firing. Last time we couldn't. Yes! Seems to be working. Apparently it has really tricky firing arc. You said yourself there's nothing going on, Felix. Integrity at seventy five per cent. It's quite a slow ship, though, the time ship. So I imagine if it was getting attacked by, I don't know, a fleet of ships, it would be quite tricky. Wow. So it's firing at multiple different ships. It's pretty neat. It seems to be set to do that by default. Bye bye. Target hull integrity at seventy five per cent. That is so cool. Targeting multiple ships at once. I really don't know how I managed to cause damage. I wonder if it was just a game glitch or something, or is it because I went so close to it, I went within its shield perimeter or something? I don't know. Or is there a weak spot that we don't know about? Come on. I'm trying to get the uh, time beam to work. Oh, there we go. Got it. Right. Really? Okay. Last ones again. That doesn't involve Cardassians firing at us. I suppose you would prefer a mission that had us facing a dozen galores. Okay, so I think the Krenim time ship is the ultimate power in the universe, isn't it? I wonder if it would work against the Death Star. Neat. Your orders, sir? Does it have a warp core? Nope, imagine the size of the warp core. Ooh, we can abandon ship though. What kind of escape pods will it have? I want to see if this thing blows up like really spectacular. That's a lot of escape pods. Yes, sir. 
Yes, Captain. I Captain. Here we go. What? Rubbish, that wasn't a core breach. Well, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video.